Hey everybody, let's learn more about circles this time. Having understood a bit about rectangles, you understand that they are measured by looking at one of the edges and looking at the other edge. And both of those represent a value like five feet or 10 feet. And so you write it in a certain way. You're measuring the direction that you could measure this or the dimension. So this has two dimensions. All shapes are two dimensionals. But when it comes to a circle, it's a little different because it's the same distance from the center to any outside point. So there is no corner to hit. It has no corners. So when SketchUp is going to give you the measurements of the circle in this lower right corner, it's going to say radius. And a radius is the distance from the middle of the circle where it's going to start to draw that thing out to any outside edge. It's going to be the same all the way around. So radius is half the distance across the middle of the circle from any outside point to its opposite point. Okay. The full distance across the middle of the circle between those points is called the diameter. Great term to know because that's the full distance across that circle. But when you're building it, you're building it from the center out. So you're using the radius. So if I challenged you to orbit up in the air like a bird, like this, so that you're looking down on the ground in the grass, and you go to the circle tool in your shapes tool set, and I wanted you to try to make a five, a 10 foot diameter circle, <laughs> spoiler alert, what would you type in for radius? So left click, pull it out. You'll see the dimensions changing in the lower right for radius. Don't hope for the best and try to land there by moving your mouse. Let go and type it with a lifetime edit on that distance. What do you need it to be if you need the diameter to be 10 feet? Five apostrophe enter gives you a five foot radius. That equals a 10 foot diameter circle. That's good to know because you can control and command the lengths and the movements of any of the tools that we're going to use, including the size of shapes. So now try to orbit down. And while you're holding orbit on your mouse, don't forget holding shift on your keyboard is panning, sliding side to side. And if you let go of shift, you're still holding the zoom button on your mouse, you're orbiting. Pan, orbit. Now try to draw one down on the down low to the ground so that it looks like your circle turns green, like it's going up on the Y axis. Do another one, also make that one a five foot radius. Let go, type in five, apostrophe, enter. And you have just made a circle that is a five foot radius. It is 10 feet in diameter. Two circles, both on different axes, flat on the ground on the X or the Z axis, and up in the air on the Y axis. And it gets really complex and interesting the more you understand the use of these basic functions, making a shape, commanding where it's going to be. And don't forget that when you're making a circle, you're dealing with its radius to design it for an outcome that may include the diameter that you wanted. Okay, I'll see you for the next one. Polygons, many-sided shapes. Be well.